Hello guys, Zyga here, welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be talking about my first time experience with Ludum Dare 46, and I'm going to be going over my process of creating Skip a Beat, which is my game. So just before I start, let me explain what Ludum Dare is for those who don't know. Basically, Ludum Dare is a worldwide game jam where participants have to create a game in 48 hours or 72 hours, depending on what category they choose, and they have to create this game based on a given theme. Now this year's theme was Keep It Alive. Now, as I've already just mentioned, there are two different categories. You have the compo and the jam. Now, the compo is basically you have 48 hours, you have to work alone, and only using the resources you make right now. So, it's actually crowned Ludum Dare hard mode. Then you have the jam, where you have 72 hours to make a game. You can work solo or on a team, and you can use any resources you want. So, you can use past project tutorials, literally anything. Now, knowing me, I wanted things easy, so I took the jam. Also, it was my first time, so I decided to go easy on myself to start off with, as I didn't really know what I was doing. So at 3am the theme was released and it was keep it alive. That made me really happy because I had ideas spewing out of my head which I initially thought would be the hardest part. Thinking of ideas isn't really always my thing and I can have some difficulty of it but this time I didn't for the good. Later in the morning I opened up my Surface Pro and started sketching some ideas. This took me about 30 minutes but at the end I had many cool ideas such as playing as earth and having to defend yourself from nasty humans or operating on a person and having to remove broken glass parts carefully but quickly and even a tower defense game game where you play as Mars and you have to defend yourself from asteroids. But at the end, I decided to go for the idea where you play as a heart stuck in an EKG machine, which by the way is a machine that checks how your heart is functioning, but you have to avoid the pulse line so that you don't flatline. I was really happy about this idea as I had many awesome aspects that I wanted to implement and the general idea of it I really dig. So to start, I debated what program I should use, Unity or Game Maker. Now I've got more experience with Game Maker, but at the end I chose Unity as I wanted to create a 2D game which had some 3D aspects and I figured Unity you would create that feel more easily. Besides, I needed more practice with Unity anyways. Then I soon realized that I needed to create an endless runner type of thing. So because I'm still kind of new to Unity, I decided to watch some tutorials. Now I watched a fair bit of tutorials, but none of them had what I wanted until I found Blackthorn Prod's tutorial, which I watched and followed, link in the description. Though I didn't implement everything he had as I had to adjust it to my idea. So with the main mechanic done, I decided to start streaming. By the way, if you're wondering why I used a tutorial, it's firstly because I'm not so confident with Unity Unity, and also I wanted a change. This time I wanted to create a game focused more on the aesthetic type and I wanted to create a nicer game feel and get it more polished. That's why I decided to follow a tutorial for the mechanic and spend more time on the aesthetics, sprites and assets. Anyways, I began streaming and the first thing I had to create was a 3D EKG machine. So for about 30 minutes I was making it in Blender and it was looking trash, but I knew it had to do for now. I decided to move on to creating some very basic sprites of a heart and some pulse lines, which took about maybe 20 minutes, which is kind kind of depressing considering how bad it is. I basically used Photoshop, create some basic sprites and imported them into Unity. Then I realized how bad I am at Unity because when I wanted to import the 3D model I just made, it genuinely took me about 10 minutes to try and get it imported and all my viewers had to help me how to do it. So after one hour and 20 minutes, I went off stream to work by myself. Off stream, I played around with post-processing effects for far too long and it was just really fun to play around with it, but I did waste some time on it. I also changed the sprites slightly, but they were still bad so I needed to work on them later. Then I got a few bugs in my game so I decided to fix them and that was basically the end of my first day. The next day I went straight into work. I started a stream which lasted about five hours which is the longest stream I've ever done where I made some big progress. I started the stream by implementing some sounds. This was really important as I needed the game to feel right and it wouldn't unless I had the right sounds for it. I also had to make sure the sounds fitted in with the style of my game and the general idea of it. I then changed some basic things such as when you die it displays a bit of text that says resuscitation and the game would automatically restart. Then I decided to move on and actually make the heart a good sprite. This took a long time but at the end it ended up looking really cool and neat. This is probably the longest amount of time I spent on a single small sprite asset but it was worth it. I then created a new model for my EKG system as the old one looked too basic and bad so I had to open up Blender again and play around with it. This once again also took a long time because I'm not good at modeling and I'm not good at Blender but I ended up with a decent looking EKG with the help of my fans. The changes that I implemented for my sprites made me really happy as the game was looking a lot nicer. I then worked on the main menu. Now this was a necessity to actually make the game functioning and nice because adding a main menu is kind of important in any game. So this meant creating a title. So I opened up Photoshop once again and started creating an awesome title. Now I needed to spend a long time on this because this is the first thing a person will see. It's the first impression they'll have of my game. So I want to make the title awesome and really pleasing to look at. After some time I had a nice title going and I was happy. I then had to work on creating a new scene and creating some buttons to navigate around. I also decided to 
to make the buttons on the EKG the actual buttons you press, as I think that makes the game look a lot nicer, more intuitive, and makes the feel, generally speaking, really awesome. The initial idea was to animate the buttons being pressed in, but I didn't have time in the end, so they're just normal buttons. I then worked on some transitions to add more game feel. This is really important to me as I needed the game feel to feel just right for the player to enjoy it. Transitions are really important and I did this through a very simple system. I created a canvas and some panels and basically just animated the panels, depending on what I wanted. Some transitions were simple slide transitions, others were fade, but there was different varieties of transitions that I used that you can go ahead and check out if you play my game. I then started to work on a high score system. This was also really important as otherwise the game didn't have much point. You play the game, you get a score, so you we need a system that will keep track of your highest score. I did this using player prefs as it was the easiest way to do so. This took about 10 to 15 minutes and now we have a high score system in the game. Next I worked on the control scene. Now the controls were very basic for the game but I still wanted to create a scene for the player so they know what controls they have to use for the game. Once again I created a custom aesthetic little title in Photoshop, added some buttons to navigate back to the menu and added some transitions between the scenes to add the extra game feel. I also added some of the sprites of the heart throughout the different scenes and animated them so they look like beating hearts. I animated the hearts through the Unity animator, so instead of doing it in Photoshop it was a lot easier just with the animator, as I was just simply scaling the sprite. I also decided to add a name to the EKG and called it Zyger2500, as we reached 2500 subscribers on stream which was amazing. So that was the end of day 2 and the end of the stream. Later on I went to sleep and that was it. On the final day, as per usual, I had a change of mind and wanted to add an ending to the game, because currently it's just a never ending game which isn't very interesting, so I figured if there was an ending the player would be more likely to play for longer. This is because the game is more interesting and the player just wants to reach the end. I also wanted to add a story to the game, which was also a big goal considering it was the last day of Ludum Dare. I started another stream which lasted nearly six hours, which is genuinely my record and I didn't know how I did that. Firstly, I decided to add a custom cursor, which wasn't a necessity, but I felt like it made the game a lot nicer. So I drew it up simply in Photoshop and it didn't take too long. Then me and the viewers came up with a storyline, which I won't spoil, so go ahead and finish my game and you will see the storyline, but basically I needed to create some animations for the storyline. So I opened up Photoshop once again and started drawing some cool little images. Now this took a long time because first of all I'm not good with animations and even though it was simple images I wanted it to look nice and right and I wanted to add simple animations to it so it has a nice game feel. Now I needed to implement this into the first cutscene in Unity, so I created a separate scene for the beginning cutscene, added all my different animations, added some transitions and boom we had a nice awesome animation. I also made sure that at the end of the animation the player got moved to the main menu so that they could start playing the game. I then decided to create an actual ending to the game, where I basically said it that once you reach 200 points you get sent to the end screen. This was really simple and required one if statement. I also changed the label so it now displays your score as something out of 200, e.g. 0 out of 200. I kept the high score system though so the player knows how close they were to finishing the game and so they can try and beat the high score the next time. I then had to work on an end scene which, quite, which I created in the same way as the first cutscene. So I opened up Photoshop once again and drew up some simple sprites, animated them in Unity and then imported it in Unity and boom we have some more animations. Once again I added transitions for an extra effect of game feel. And also I created a controller that checked if the cutscene has been finished and if it has you'll be sent back to the main menu so you can restart your game. I then wanted to work on the settings menu. Now not gonna lie I spent so much time on it and it didn't actually end up even working in the end so it was very disappointing. Basically I, wanna create a, I wanted to create a settings menu where the player can control the audio as sometimes it can get too loud and it's just easier if you can control it within the game. Now this didn't work as I couldn't get it to transfer between the scenes. Even though I tried to use player prefs, I just couldn't get it right. So without wasting time, I decided to scratch that idea and continue working on the game to just make it functional and a lot nicer. So finally, I made some simple easy tweaks to the game which improved the gameplay in general, smoothed out the movement a little bit and decreased the amount of spawning of the pulse lines. I also created a logo and then exported the game to Windows and Mac. Also, while editing this video, I'm eating pizza. So if you like pizza cold, go ahead and leave a like. But if you like it warm, go ahead and leave a like too. That way I know if you like it warm or hot, because that makes sense. So that was the end of my first time ever Ludum Dare experience. And genuinely speaking, I loved it. It was something that I recommend for everyone to try. Not only does it test you to create an awesome game in a time limit, but it also puts you amongst other people to see what kind of cool creations they did. And it also just allows you to just have so much fun. Now, initially I thought actually making the theme and the idea of the game would be the hardest, but it wasn't. The hardest part was actually getting it finished because I had so many cool ideas to implement. Also, I did forget to mention, at the end when I submitted my game, I added a final thing off stream. Basically, you can exit the game, there's an exit button now, and also there's an infinite mode. So if you don't want to play the story again, you can just play it infinitely to see what high score you get. Now, on the screen right now, you are watching some gameplay
gameplay of my game. Also, all links to the game will be in the description below, so you can go ahead and go on my itch.io page where you can download the game yourself and give it a try. And also, I'll leave a link to my Ludum Dare submission so you can go ahead and vote on there if you want. Final thing, I want to thank every single person that watched the stream. I know there was a couple people that watched it throughout the whole way, so I'm happy that everyone joined me on my journey. Now, this was a really awesome experience and I can't wait to participate on the next one. Also, if you made a game yourself, go ahead and comment down below if you have. Give me a link to it so I can go ahead and play around with it. And yeah, hope you really enjoyed this video. Final thing though, Premiere Pro, which is what I used to edit my videos, crashed like 10 times and I've been having issues with it. So sorry for the late upload of this video. Anyway guys, I love you all guys and make sure to stay safe during this time. And yeah, I love you all guys and thank you so much for watching.